Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about the Olympic class liners. Now, this is the three ships that White Star Line had built between, I believe, sometime in the 1910s. Now, here are some pictures of all three of the Olympic class liners. We have the Olympic, Titanic, and the Britannic. No difference between the Olympic and the Titanic. Really nothing, I believe. With the Britannic, you have the improved life davits for the lifeboats in different paint scheme. All right, so here's another picture of them. On the top left, we have the Olympic. Top right, we have the Titanic. And on the bottom, we have the Britannic. All right, so. All right, so as you see here, this says the Britannic was the final vessel of the Olympic class of ocean liners by the White Star Line and the second to bear her name. Intended to be the safest of the Olympic fleet, as White Star Line learned their lesson from the loss of Titanic. So, I believe they did this on the Olympic as well, after the sinking. And then, on 26th of February, 1914, the Britannic was launched out of her layup, then the war had begun. So, when they built the Britannic, once she finally was finished, war broke out in Europe. So, per request of the military... She was turned to a hospital ship. Yep. As similarly to her opponents, the Mauritania and the Aquitania, owned by the Cunard Line, which was their main competitor at the time. But on November 21st, 1916, at 8.15 a.m., the Britannic would strike a mine on her starboard side. I believe she sank an hour later. So, so here's some pictures of the Britannic. This is the one from the beginning. Here's another one I found that's pretty cool. It has like this whole grainy photo. You can see the life davits extended out, which is how they would work. And then here's Brit Tank next to another smaller ship. Now, only 30 people died on the Brit Tank, which is very good because by the time she had taken her final plunge, nobody was on the ship. Then here's a picture of, I don't believe this, I believe this is a fake picture of her sinking. But as you can see, water's already up to the bow and the propeller's already out of the water. Here's another one where it's already up to the bridge. Now, something with the Britannic. When the first two lifeboats were launched, the engines were running. They were still running. So when they launched those lifeboats, they went directly into the propeller, which is where most of the deaths had actually came from on the Britannic. All right, so that's it for the Britannic. Uh, Olympic will be next, and then the Titanic. So uh, thanks for watching.